Sharia Harris took the field for postage stamp farms, she became a pioneer in polo, breaking barriers in a white male dominated sport. And she can ride. I love playing against the guys, with the guys. It's, it's always a bit more competitive. Oh, Shariah's going to go forward for the pass. Is she going to get the goal? Oh, oh just Jeff missed Wyatt. it. She had the shot. She had the shot. Shariah became the first African American woman to play at the highest level of polo in America. Is it true that you started playing polo because your mother took a wrong turn? <laughs> Literally. Yes. yes. She made a right hand turn down to a dead end road and saw she wanted stables. What she found was Work to Ride, a program helping inner city youth who have never touched a horse find their calling. Summers, we're up there every day, all day, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock at night. It's like a full commitment. To see her out there, it, it means so much as a, another Work to Ride graduate um, and then also just as a bigger brother to her as well. Polo became Shariah's passport to a new life. She earned a scholarship to Cornell where she led the polo team to the national finals. And she was named the U.S. Polo Association's National Player of the Year. When I tell them I play polo and they're like, that's not a sport. The horse does all the work. And I'm like, uh, maybe we should get on and try it. <laughs> so you're controlling a thousand pound plus animal and you have to hit the ball and make sure you don't run anyone over. Polo was called the sport of kings. Maybe now queens. Because on horseback, the great equalizer is talent. It's not a big surprise that she has this opportunity. It just shows, you know, what the program produces. How proud were you to see Sharia out there today? To have her doing this is just like the best.